Hello, this is Kent with Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. In this episode, Paranormal Showdown, Engaging Evil, we are going to aggressively confront Edmund and do everything we can to get information out of him regarding Rachel. I normally don't get this aggressive when I talk to these ghosts, but it has reached a point that if I feel like if I push Edmund hard enough, he may talk to me and give me information about what happened. In the episodes Ghost of Man Justice Part 1 and 2, I did the same thing with Butch Powell. I pushed him hard enough until he finally answered my questions. In this video, I'm going to do the same thing. Can I push Edmund Lamb hard enough to get answers out of him to see if he had anything to do with Rachel's death? The beginning of this video are just quick clips of paranormal activity that I encountered since the last video I posted. After the quick clips, Kenneth, Janae, and myself, we do a spirit box session in the witch's window room, asking questions with these ghosts, and these questions pertain to a lot of you YouTube viewers who had questions that you wanted us to ask these spirits in this house. And at the end of this video, on a Friday night, David Sear comes over, we all four get together and aggressively ask questions of these spirits to try to solve these mysteries regarding Rachel. And there is absolutely no doubt this was a paranormal showdown between us and some spirits. And I'm not talking about humanoid spirits. Somebody moving around in here? Are you able to repeat that? Are you torturing my cat? Did you hear that? Can you say that again?
You guys didn't hear that? Yeah, I heard that. <clears throat> that was not the cat. It was a female voice. Not the cat. It was a female voice. Not the cat. It was a female voice. I got to listen to that. Sounds like a baby crying. There's three places of this house that freak me out. It gives me the creeps. I think I would say number one, the basement. Number two, this garage. Number three, the witch's window room. Yeah, definitely that witch's window room. I don't know why, but that room creeps me out real bad. The hell was that? I don't know, I heard it too. It sounded like it came from the witch's window room that attached to the garage. Yeah. Somebody knocking? My grandmother used to slap me for that back in the 1970s when I'd blow a stinker and laugh about it. And I weren't allowed to call them farts, they were stinkers. Stinker. 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 Alright, so I definitely heard disembodied voices. And that knock thing was really weird. I keep feeling like someday something's gonna push me down those steps really hard. I keep feeling like someday something's gonna push me down those steps really hard. Down those steps really hard. Down those steps really hard. Right in here, I pick up a lot of EVPs and disembodied voices. This is Kent, Kenneth, and Janae. We want to talk with you guys a little bit tonight.
who's the child spirit up in this room? They always ask for Kaylee. Are you here? How long have you been here? Or in Carmel? Do you think Kaylee is your friend? Are you really a child? I catch the sound off these steps to keep hearing the sounds. Whoa, what was that? I did hear that. No. It definitely was on the bar. Do you like Kenneth and Janae? I swear I heard a faint child's voice. Do you like Kenneth and Janae? All right, well, I'm going to turn on the spirit box so we can talk, okay? We've got some questions. Say something. Say something. Yeah. Hi. Say something. Hi. Hi. Already asked him. What do you guys want to ask me? You always say that, ask him. What is it that you want to ask me? Alright, well I'm going to turn on the spirit box so we can talk, okay? We've got some questions.
heavy drive. Yes, they are. Yes. 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 so strong in this house.
we'll uh we're gonna head up to the witch's window room now you may go ahead the lights on up there right now So we know you're here with us. Would you like to speak with us? Is that another female voice downstairs? Yeah. All right. So every time I've asked, started asking a question so far, we've heard a female voice. I've heard it come from downstairs. I didn't want to say too much, but tonight, tonight we're going to confront Edmund tonight. Do you hear that, Edmund? I know you're here. Edmund. Edmund Lamb. I have some questions for you tonight. Rachel. Rachel, are you here tonight? Rachel, was that you? Rachel, was that you? Okay, spirit box downstairs, and it'll be on YouTube because I know you guys couldn't hear that. I asked Rachel, is that you? The spirit box downstairs went, yeah. Very clear. And I do have a recording on that downstairs, so we didn't miss it. We will be turning the spirit box on up here, here in a minute. That was Rachel again. Rachel! That was Rachel again. Rachel! Is there anybody else here besides Rachel? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? Sound like a growl voice. Right, right now, it's hot up in this room, and I'm feeling this cold air going all around me. That means I got goosebumps over here. You got goosebumps, Kenneth? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going the lights out here in the witch's window room. That's mainly because of our... Uh, night cam. We want to see if we can pick up an apparition. Hello? Edmund? Yeah. Edmund, is that you? Alright, the downstairs spirit box just clearly and very loud said Edmund. That's the second time I've heard it. So, 
That's the second time I've heard it. So, yeah. I'm going to turn the spirit. That's the second time I've heard it. So, yeah. I'm going to turn the spirit box up here right now uh, so we can start dealing with Edmund Lamb here tonight. Can I keep the other one down right here? Yeah. So, yeah, it's 70, so, yeah, it's 73 degrees in here, so if you're, you know, if you're Can any of your other spirits tell us if Edmund's here? Rachel? Hiding? Yes? Rachel? Hiding? Yes? Hi. That spirit box clearly said Rachel's hiding, and I said hiding, and he said yes. Why is Rachel hiding? I think I heard a phrase. I think I heard a phrase. Can you explain to me why she's hiding, please? Can you explain to me why she's hiding, please? I get small EMS spikes and on the uh, night vision. There's like a... Uh, Orb looking, I don't know if it's dust or if it's orbs, but there's lots of activity. Go ahead and put the camera in there. What? What? What?
Stedman Lamb. Edmund, I'm talking to you. Edmund, this isn't going to go away. You need to understand something right now. All right, you're obviously dead. And obviously, you still have some issues with regards to Rachel. Edmund, did you kill Rachel? Not picking up nothing on the spare box now. Can anyone tell us where Edmund is? Is he still here with us? Yeah, I did too. Edmund, are you not wanting to talk to us? There's a lot of things being said about you, Edmund. Now's your chance. Say your piece. Did you have anything to do with the death of Rachel? Edmund, this isn't going to go away. You need to understand something right now. All right, you're obviously dead. And obviously you still have some issues with regards to Rachel. Now, you're never, ever going to rest in peace. You're always going to be tormented over this for all eternity. So you might as well get it off your chest now. You might as well come clean on it and talk to us about it. Because all these other ghosts, these spirits said that you did kill Rachel. I'm giving you this opportunity to talk with us about it now. 
If you didn't kill her, talk to us about it. If you did kill her, we want to know why. Why did you do it? Why did you kill Rachel? Why'd you do it? David, maybe you can ask questions downstairs. I'll ask questions upstairs. I'll wait till you get done asking a question before I ask one up here so we don't talk over each other. So I'll, when you ask a question, I'll wait 30 seconds, then I'll ask a question. All right, right person. I'll ask a question. All right, right person. I'll ask a question. All right, right person. Gotcha. I just heard a scream down there. Okay. Find him. Matt, it sounded like a female voice said here down here when you said that. Okay, because they just said up here, find him. So he must be down there. Rachel? Alright guys, it's all yours up there. Rachel, are you still scared of Edmund? You're not afraid? You're not afraid? You're not afraid? Okay, can you tell us where he is? Can you say that again for us? Can you tell us where Edmund is? Downstairs? Downstairs, there yep. you go. I was just trying to hear if you heard it too. Is there a reason why you won't answer us? These are pretty serious ac ac accusations we're saying about you. There's a lot of people saying that you caused harm to a, to a woman. Namely Rachel. Possibly others. Would you like to speak to us about that?
Edmund, are you here now? Did you harm Rachel? Can Edmund hear us? Yes. Is he ignoring us? Is Hattie here? All right, I'm going upstairs. What? What? You want me to talk to her? And find her? Who are you talking about? Who do you want me to talk to and find? Hi. Hi. Who did you want me to talk to and find? Does this have anything to do with Abby or Rachel? Can you give me a name, please, of who you want me to talk to? Abby Mitchell? What happened to Abby Mitchell? Abby, are you here? Abby, what happened to you? You were killed? How were you killed? Gunshot? Who, Abby, who killed you? Abby, who killed you? Edmund, are you the one keeping Rachel from talking to us?
Yeah, they said they heard it. They said it was close to me. I said they heard it twice. Hmm. I think you're talking about the history, man. I think I just said twice after you said twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> Abby, are you still here? Edmund killed you? His wife? Hattie Lamb, are you here by chance? Hattie, do you have anything to do with this stuff at all involving Rachel and Abby? What did you do? Hattie, what did you and Edmund do? Hattie? What did you guys do to Rachel or Abby? All right. What? Abby, are you still here? Rachel, are you here? Edmund did it. Edmund did it. All right, you guys, I'll be back. So whatever's going on, whatever happens to these girls, girls, whatever happened with these girls, with whoever's involvement with it, I believe it was definitely demonic related. Okay, let's face it, anybody that goes out and murders somebody else in cold blood like that, there's no doubt it's demonic related. I mean, people in their right mind don't do stuff like that. They would have to be influenced by something. People in their right mind don't do stuff like that. They would have to be influenced by something to even commit such acts like this. Well, it wouldn't be the first, hey, well... If it was the first one. If it was the first one. If it was the first one, it wasn't the last one that did that. Downstairs, did you hear that? <laughs> that was Edmund as clear as day. I'm going to go downstairs. Yeah, let's head back downstairs again. He's probably going to run back upstairs. Well, I'll set this camera up here. Let's switch positions again. Go ahead and close that door. I'm going to see what kind of answers I get up here. Yeah. Battery exhausted. Yeah, I mean, that's just for the... So I keep getting the same... Uh, sound.
Can you close that door down there, David? Yeah. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Rachel got her pregnant and tried to cover it up. Is that why? He was afraid the truth would get out and his reputation would be destroyed as a prominent man here in Carmel. Is that why? Tell me if that's why he killed Rachel. I don't know if people think that this is just, oh, it's like you're picking up a walkie-talkie and talking back and forth. Yeah. Because they see a video and they see how it's edited. 
you know, they don't realize that this is, that when you see it live, this is what's going on. You get this evidence, I mean, what, what the fuck is that? What the hell was that? God, you get this evidence, I mean, what, what the fuck is that? What the hell was that? God, you get this evidence, I mean, what, what the fuck is that? What the hell was that? So obviously there's something very powerful here. What? What? Yeah. Alright, let me make it clear right now. If there's any non if there's any non-humanoid spirit in this house, any evil entity, you need to get out of this house right now. You need to leave. You are not welcome in this house. None of us want you in here. When you see it live, this is... What's going on? You get this evidence, I mean, what... What the fuck is that? What the hell was that? God, you get this evidence, I mean, what... What the fuck is that? What the hell was that? God, you get this evidence, I mean, what... What the fuck is that? What the hell was that? So obviously there's something very... Powerful here. What? What? Now, when this house shook, that is not the first time this ever happened. It's rare to catch this on video. However, many times this house is literally shook. I mean, it shook so hard that things actually fell. One time my wife was sitting downstairs, I was upstairs here working on a Ghost of Karma main video, and she hollered for me and said the house downstairs shook. I didn't feel anything upstairs here, I didn't even know what even happened. I can honestly say I do not believe a humanoid spirit had the ability to shake this house the way it shook. And I think the evidence showed that there is more than just humanoid spirits in the house that night. It seems like when we pushed with aggression, something pushed back. Now I do want to make something very clear here, and it's important that I say this. I cannot come out and say that Edmund, in fact, murdered Rachel or anybody else, unless I have the physical evidence to show 
that what these ghosts are saying is true. These accusations are based on paranormal related evidence. Was that Edmund Lamb that did say that he shot Rachel? Was that Edmund Lamb that admitted that he did kill Rachel? Or is there a spirit posing as Edmund Lamb to mislead me on all of this? This is why it's very important that I have the physical evidence to prove that what these ghosts are saying is true. I do know for a fact there are spirits out there with evil intentions that want to mislead people. And I'm not here to destroy a man's reputation of something that may have happened 100 years ago without physical evidence. It's really hard to prove something that did take place over 100 years ago and it's really hard trying to find physical evidence that a crime did happen here in this house. I personally have my beliefs on what happened here and I think you viewers kinda have an idea of what happened but I can't come out and say it right now. I can't make that claim that these are the facts based on just paranormal evidence. I'm working on getting results to determine the bones that I found in the basement are they human and if they are human are those the remains of Rachel I hope soon we will finally solve this mystery once and for all about Rachel but then the next one who's Abby who are these other ghosts what do they want it's just a continual mystery that just keeps going on